Yo, what's up guys, Atlas here. Today we've got a new podcast, Pot of Disparity. So this just got announced for Blazing Vortex. And this was kind of teased in the TCG translation of the set. That they were already hyping up a new podcast, but I thought it would be a TCG exclusive, apparently not. So this is the artwork, um, yeah. This is a normal spell, obviously, I mean, all Pot of some things are normal spells, I believe. Though there is one that's a quickie, maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, you can only activate one card to this card's name per turn, as is normal nowadays. You cannot draw any cards with card effects during the turn you activate this card. So this reminds me of a lot of extra legends, where it's the only draw spell you can use. Except this one doesn't really draw you anything. This one works a bit like a pot of duality. Banish three or six cards from your extra deck, face down. Activate that same number of cards from the top of your deck, add one of them to your hand. And place the rest of, on the bottom of your deck in any order. For the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, half any battle dam half any damage your opponent takes. Now, this is interesting. I'm not sure if this is a translation mistake, but it does not state randomly. What if extra vengeance randomly banishes? This one banishes three or six cards from extra deck face down. This sounds like you get to choose. That might be a translation issue. It's a fan translation, that could also always be irrelevant. Oh, sorry, these decks might always be, um, you know, wrong. I mean, I can't help it. Um, Pot of Extra Vengeance does specify random. This one doesn't, so I'm just going to assume this one isn't random. Unlike Pot of Duality, you can still special summon. Um, you just cannot draw any anything with card effects for the rest of the turn. Um, it also does have to be used at the start of your main phase 1. Pot of Extra Vengeance requires this, this one doesn't. And digging for 6 is a lot. Digging for 6 means you can um, basically search any 3 of. I mean, you're opening 5 cards in your hand, you use this, you dig for 6 more. You're almost guaranteed to open one of your 3 offs that you specifically require for your strategy to work. So, is this the new pot of extra or something? Not really. Will it be useful in certain decks? Yes. Pot of, uh, this pot card might be really good in Cosmo, for example. Cosmo might use this. Um, Trap Tricks might use this. A lot of um, decks that don't really use their extra deck a lot, but can't risk randomly banishing, would like this, as you select which cards you banish. So yeah, Trap Tricks, once again, is a good option, but other similar strategies where you probably don't really rely on your extra deck, only a few cards from extra deck get used. Um, but it might be a translation mistake once again. But yeah, in general, um, will this be impactful for us the game? Yes, definitely. I can see certain strategies that don't run draw spells anyway. Like um, Dogmatica, for example, run this. So it's interesting. Um, it's different for Pot of Extra Vigilance. You choose which you ban, which is relevant in decks that only use a certain amount of cards from an extra deck. Um, I'm curious to see which decks will utilize this, if the translation is indeed correct. Um, this could... Have quite an impact on the meta, and I think it's definitely a good card to get, together with uh, the spell speed for hand trap that got released yesterday. Kind of weird that I waited so long to reveal the actual meta cards, but Konami, my god. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the review. See you guys next time. Atlas signing out. Peace.